with the entire world devising measures to respond to climate change and the energy crisis, Seoul has been fostering energy-independent villages since 2012. We examined the activities and accomplishments of Seoul's major energy-independent villages and review their effectiveness. Electric power is a necessity in modern life. From must-haves like smartphones to various electronic devices, we require power to enjoy everyday convenience. This electric power is mostly generated in thermal or nuclear power plants. For the use of fossil fuels at thermal power plants and the greenhouse gases produced as a result lead to global warming and serious climate change. Nuclear power plants present the danger of radioactivity, which is why movements are taking place worldwide to reduce their number. As a result, since 2012, the city of Seoul has been supporting urban energy independent villages through public participation. Support ranges from about 4,500 U.S. dollars for first-year villages to about $27,000 for third-year villages. Support can be given to groups of three or more residents interested in the Energy Independent Village project. The goal is to support 100 places by 2018. 70 are being operated as of 2017. Five years in since the project was launched, Sipjaseong Village in Gangdonggu District is cited as a model example of energy independent villages. First of all, Sipjaseong Village installed solar power generators in each home to produce the village's own electricity. 30 kilowatt solar power generators for home use were installed in about 50 different homes, generating over 45% of the necessary power independently. This year, 15 additional homes will install solar power generators. It's thanks to the real effects made tangible by the neighbors. The utility fee comes to around 60 to 70 US dollars for our house. We always try to save, but since the solar generators were installed, we pay only in the range of 2 to 4 dollars. Efforts for energy independence go beyond the solar power generators. Education is offered for continued energy savings and the residents are acting accordingly with efforts such as using LED bulbs in their homes. The fostering of gardens on the rooftops of the houses is also related to energy. They block out sunlight in the summer, lowering the building's temperature, and keep in geothermal heat in the winter, helping to save on energy costs. There was a 45 percent drop in 2015 compared to the year before. In 2016, the drop was 46 percent. These are impressive figures. We began with the hope that such energy villages could become more common. This apartment complex in Dongjakgu has been participating in the energy independence project since four years ago. The neighborhood reduced the use of electricity by 6.5 percent compared to a year earlier. How was the project applied successfully to an apartment complex? The first nationwide large solar panels were installed on the apartment rooftops, generating 131.6 kilowatts of publicly shared electricity. 120 units operate mini solar panels on the apartment verandas. Street lamps in the complex were converted to LED bulbs and parking lot lights are sensor activated as part of various efforts to enhance energy efficiency. But with 880 units, cooperation was not easy in such a large apartment complex. Changing the windows and doors can save on costs for heating. The energy independence level is being increased steadily through measures such as solar power and LED lights. Homes that have signed up for eco mileage can receive incentives in return. This has enhanced the spirit of participation as our apartments take part in the strategy and feel the results firsthand. Village representatives did the legwork, aiming for energy independence. As a result, electricity usage has dropped by 10 percent on average for the past three years. Power bills were reduced by $233,000. Thanks to these accomplishments, the city of Seoul aims to increase the number of energy-independent villages to 100 by the year 2018.
By the end of this year, it will present housing complexes which can provide their own energy through solar and geothermal systems right from the construction stages. Energy independence has been based on existing technology, but with more technical support, the level of independence can grow even higher. We are actively consulting with different groups to make those types of applications. Seoul's energy independence stands at just 4 percent. But the success of energy independent villages attained through technology, policy and shifts in the residents' perception demonstrates that we can overcome crises of energy and environment through our own effort.